Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv and today I am going to answer a question from someone who didn't give their name but their email address begins with Cameron so I'm going to refer to them as Cameron. Cameron asks, hello Buona, I don't have or live near a public Wi-Fi site so I find it impossible to download anything like a podcast on my iPhone. Do you think that the 10 megabyte limit for the 3G is too low? Thank you. And Cameron, I absolutely agree. The 10 megabyte limit is absolutely too low. I produce 20 to 40 minute shows and they average between 18 to 20 megabytes, which is not that big for what you're getting. Um, I could reduce it, but I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, compromise on quality for this, this, this synthetic limitation. But I think Apple realized that this was kind of an issue. So what they're doing in iPhone 3.0, and I'll put the link in the description to the Gizmodo article, is that they're increasing the limit of the download size to um, they're increasing it I don't think they say what the actual limit is but they have screenshots of people downloading stuff over 10 megabytes without being on Wi-Fi they are actually on 3G so that's good news for us um, but we gotta wait that's the downside we gotta wait until iPhone 3.0 comes out and we got it installed and working and then we'll be able to download podcasts that are over 10 megabytes. And I hope you just subscribe to my podcast at uh, radio.one.org. I appreciate you sending the question in, Cameron. And hopefully I got your name right. But, yeah, I do believe that it's too low. Podcasts, generally, if, if they go over 10 to 15 minutes, they're going to be bigger than 10 megabytes. So when we talk about downloading stuff over 3G, we get AT&T involved. And I think that's when things become a little sketchy. I think that's when Apple loses control over a lot of things um, when you talk about over the air stuff Wi-Fi generally you know the iPhone can do almost anything over Wi-Fi ATT doesn't care but when you talk about 3G they have to think about network saturation and they get stingy and all kinds of stuff so apparently when the 3G comes around in 3.0 uh, iPhone OS 3.0 AT&T maybe will be doing something to to increase bandwidth limitations or maybe they're just ready they'll be ready for it by summer uh, maybe it's a bandwidth capacity thing on their networks I don't know I can only I can only uh, I can only um, what's the word I'm looking for <laughs> I can only speculate gosh my brain just went blank I can only speculate what's going on over in AT&T land but um, I, I believe that you know that is too low and uh, I'll be looking forward and look, looking forward to it and I better stop this video now I'm, I'll be looking forward to it this summer <laughs> alright Kevin this is one from one of that TV my brain just stopped and I'm gonna have to take a break take care